This case illustrates spontaneous optic capture of an in-bag one-piece IOL. We didn't leave it there, but I thought it's good to show how we can stabilize with the CCC a one-piece lens that's in the bag. I have used this with toric lenses that would not uh, stay where they're put because of large uh, capsular bag. And you'll see with this lens how easy it is to move it from side to side. So it is a, a pretty large capsular bag. And if needed, because it was a toric lens or it would not stay centered, we could have left it with optic capture, but that does change the effective lens power very slightly. So we're just getting all the OVD out now, and I like to go behind the lens as well as uh, using rock and roll because I just always find or usually find a little bit of OVD under the lens as well. You can see how the positive vitreous pressure has just pushed the optic up, the edges of the optic up through the CCC. And one can achieve that purposefully in cases where you want to stabilize the lens. For instance, if you get a posterior capsule tear or something that makes you concerned about long-term in-bag stability, by capturing the optic with the CCC, you can ensure that you'll have capsule fixation for the rest of the patient's life. So once we get the incisions sealed, just give the lens a little nudge and it's all back in the bag now again. So this is another reason to always make the CCC smaller than the diameter of the optic to have this option if it's needed. With a three-piece lens after posterior capsule tear or <clears throat> a one-piece lens that you want to stabilize. Thank you for your attention.